Hey guys, it's Jire, and today I'm going to be showing you how I publish my projects. How I can actually get them from IntelliJ to GitHub, and then how to get them, you know, with these fancy badges on GitHub, and finally actually how to publish them to Maven Central and JCenter. So I'm going to be covering that all in this video, and it should be pretty quick. So first, let's just make a project. Let's just open up IntelliJ create a new project gonna be doing a Kotlin project cuz why not um, Kotlin Java with Gradle let's call it video version 1 let's create the directories and everything let it generate the stuff alright and just as some example code let's just make a package and let's make a file Blah blah. All right, there's our awesome library. Just imagine that it was actually awesome, not just a file that says blah blah. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is configure Gradle, the build.gradle. I'm not really a fan of uh, supporting Java 1.5, so let's straight up get rid of that. Um, let's first of all, some reason it generates the stuff at the top. I don't like it at the top because um, you'll see later, but you need to have this down there. Second of all, I like to make some global variables up here. So one of the first ones I like to do, project name, and that's going to be the project name in caps. So video. Second thing I like to do is project group. Um, third thing I like to do, artifact, uh, which will just be lowercase video. And then project version 1.0. So those are just to keep everything clean. So I'm going to go ahead and change this stuff to actually um, make it nicer. So this is going to be project group. This is going to be project version. And now we're going to surround this stuff with all projects. So it gets applied everywhere. Our plugins. All right. And we also want to use um, the Maven plugin. Maven plugin, and we also want to use the Maven Publish plugin. Okay, so for repositories, you want to have JCenter in the build script. There we go. Now let me just bring up my reference on the other screen. All right. So first thing we want is we want to actually add um, the bin tray plugin. Bin tray, you'll see in a sec why we need this but we want to have that plug in there um, second thing we want to do is have a publishing block for maven publishing all right third thing we want is a bin tray block for bin tray closure you can do it like that and by the way I'm gonna have all this stuff uh, in the description and that's all we need so just make sure it all works by right clicking pressing build all right one thing went wrong um can i find the method publishing oh that's because we need to have this all projects thing at the top right here at least i'm pretty sure that's why and i also like to define the group and version right after the plugins where is it the plugins right there all right we're good to go so now that we have our build.gradle set up um, by the way you want to replace your username here in all these places um, you also want to replace the license so for this I'm just going to be using unlicensed if you need help choosing a license you can go to you can just Google choose a license. Um, the actual website is chooseolicense.com. And basically, it's like a little description about different licenses. These are the three most popular MIT, very popular Apache 2, very popular, and GNU GPL v3. Still very popular. Um, if you want to see some other choices, you can choose this one down here. And you can see GNU AGPL is very, very strict. And you can actually go down here, you can see one of the uh, most permissive licenses available is called the unlicensed and that's what I'm going to be licensing 
this crappy project under. So to make a license, um, first of all, you want to add the license tag right there. Second of all, you want to make a license file. I usually go with license.txt um, just because out of habit, txt usually works when you just open it. Mac, Linux, Windows, whatever, it just works when you open it. Um, so that's why I go with txt. You're going to paste it in there, and there you go. Um, so next, we want to add a readme. Readme.markdown is good. And I just want to type in the project name. This is what I usually do. Uh, just a an example project for video. Okay, so we're good to go in that regard. Um, so let's just share this project on GitHub now. So to do that, you can just hit VCS, import and version control, share project on GitHub. And then you can just type the description right here for a video, then hit share. Okay, and then it's going to ask you what you want to commit. Don't commit the .idea files. Everything else should be good. Yep, create a wrapper, readme license. Okay. And you can you can give it a message if you want. I just usually go with initial commit. All right, it'll take a few seconds and there you go. You can click the link and there you go. There's your project on GitHub. Okay, so now you guys are probably wondering, "Oh, I already know how to do that, right?" So how do actually do you get these fancy badges? Oh, so fancy right here. But how do you get these actual fancy badges? Um, so the first one I'm going to be covering is Travis CI. And CI means continuous integration. And basically what Travis gives you is a full, fully free server for your open source projects that will actually run your build scripts. And it can do a whole lot more, but I'm not really into it that much. Um, but basically it's fully automated server that you get for free and it can run whenever you push to your project um, so it can check your build status automatically see if you, you can actually build um, or not build um, so anyway to use this to sign up on their website uh, there's actually a sign in with github option so I would go with that then go under your accounts sync your account because you know sometimes it's just not synced usually takes a little while a couple seconds usually there you go then go down to your repository that you made video click this box right there and then you want to click this little cog thing now if you want to grab the actual markdown what you do is you can click on the badge then choose markdown and there you go now you can go ahead and actually paste that up there and you can see there's a status okay so next thing that I want is I want to add something called version I and just like Travis CI you can also do this um, you can also sign in through github we're gonna choose create from github uh, I'm gonna re-import because my projects not there okay so go down to your project oh before you actually do this on version I I forgot to mention you want to actually create a release for your github project so go to releases choose craft a new release give it a tag give it a release title and give it a description if you want all right then choose publish release there you go there's your release okay so now we're gonna go ahead and create from github choose your project now you want to click the off button, set it to on for build.gradle. That'll take a few seconds, especially if you have a complicated script. Then click on build.gradle. Okay, cool. So now um, to get the badge, what you do is click on the dependencies badge up there. You can see there's your markdown you can copy, and you can paste it right there. Okay, so cool. Um, something I like to do is remove the dash square so that it's actually a regular badge instead of a square badge. Okay, so finally is the license, and if you go to shields.io, this is actually what generates all these nice um, SVG badges. If you go all the way to the bottom, near the bottom, somewhere, uh, let's see, license, somewhere in here, okay, there it is. So, what you can do is you can copy this text, and 
you can give it a link as well. I usually like to give it a link directly to the license text. Give it a link like that. Um, you don't want to really set a max age. And there you go. And now you can just copy this into your file. For some reason did not generate. Oh, that's because I left that as that. Uh, you want to actually license last mesh shape. Um, yeah. No. I'm not really sure what it actually is. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. I don't know off the top of my head. But um, I will get it for you guys. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, it's supposed to be slash license slash your username on GitHub slash your project name dot SVG. So, quirked up on that one, but here you go. Paste that in there. It's actually called video. Now, there is your markdown text that you can copy and paste. And you can see it's really cool because it can automatically detect what license it is based on the actual license file. So that's pretty awesome. Um, so there you go. That's pretty much how you set it up. Then you can just go ahead and commit the file. Updated readme is usually my go-to commit. Now if you want to configure Travis more, which I usually like to do, you can add a .travis.yml file. And what I usually like to go with are the certain defaults that I'm bringing up right now. <laughs> I usually always go with language Java, JDK, Oracle, JDK 8. Notifications, nope, because I don't like to be bugged. Okay, so updated or added Travis CI file, config file. You can commit and push that. Okay, so... Now let's get on to the fun part. Now that we have all the badges and everything set up, let's get on to the part that actually matters, and that's through Bintray. So Bintray, a very cool tool that you publish to a lot of different platforms. Um, the ones that we're interested in are JCenter, which is actually made by Bintray, same company that owns Bintray, and Maven Central, of course. So go to your profile, go to edit, then go to API key, show your key, copy it, and then um, on Mac or Linux it might be different to set your environmental variables, um, but on Windows what you do is you go to your system properties, you go to advanced system settings, you go to environmental variables, and then you paste in your API key and your username in all lowercase. Um, to make a new one on Windows 10, it's really easy. Just hit new and then call it, uh, type the variable name up there, type in the key down there, and you can just hit okay. All right, so now it's time to actually publish to Bintray. To do this, go to view, tool windows, Gradle, and you can click on the Gradle task button. Then you, what you want to type in is bin tray upload. There's actually an autocomplete in IntelliJ for that. And then hit OK. And then give it a few seconds and pray that it works. All right. So it actually did work. So good. That's good. So then go over to Maven. And you should see your repository here. Uh, my one's called Video. And whenever you do a publish from IntelliJ, um, it's actually going to make um, a whole bunch of unpublished items. And so you want to confirm by pressing publish here to actually publish the stuff. Okay, so once you have your stuff, once you actually have your project published, you can add stuff like a description, blah, blah, blah. You can add more licenses down there. You can add some tags so that it's easily searchable. Um, you can set a maturity level, experimental. <laughs> um, and yeah, you can just con configure all this stuff. You can add like a nice little avatar picture if you want. Um, it's pretty cool what you can do with this website. Um, but the most important thing is after you've done all that, um, you can see in your versions, 
you go over to files you can see that it actually generated the XML from Maven metadata generated a folder for your version and it generated the jar the ASCs the palm everything it did that all for you from the, from the publish so once you're done with all this you want to hit add to J Center and if you want you can actually host it on the uh, OSS J JFrog um, and you can give your group ID right here so I would call it that you don't need to really give a comment and you're gonna hit send after you do that and what this is gonna do it can take between a day uh, 12 hours to two days and what it'll actually do is sends a message to the JFrog support team or whatever and they will handle actually getting it up on JCenter and getting it up on Maven Central so that's pretty much it guys um, uh, I mean, there's really nothing else to cover. If you guys have any questions or any concerns or whatever, post them in the description. Post them in the comment section below. And I'm gonna have the boilerplate for every all the code that I pasted in, all the code that I showed on screen. It's all gonna be in the description. You can check it out there. And again, just let me know what you guys think. Let me know if this helped you. And uh, thanks for watching.